done and how many employees have you managed? And we'll begin with one minute and we'll begin with Rachel. Well, I currently uh, manage three other employees um, plus numerous volunteers around the state of California for my organization. Our budget is roughly half a million dollars, but what's unique about our budget is when you work for a nonprofit, you have to raise all of that money, and that's my job. And so when it comes to, in fact, I've been just doing the budget for next year for my organization, and you really personalize things because you have to make sure that you're providing for all of these people. You have to make sure the money's going to be there. And I've had to make some, some cuts. Uh, one of the hardest decisions I had to make was I had to go to my employees and I had to cut their pension because we couldn't continue the pension obligation that we had. And it was a tough decision. But, you know, I've also worked years with the state budget on different aspects of that. Um, understanding how the state budget works with the county budget, um, you know, in terms of being able to make those difficult decisions, I've done it, I've done it well, and I'm prepared to do that as your supervisor. In the private sector in 19, uh, approximately 1983, I was a partner with my uncle Don Nutting and logging. We had brought in about $1.5 million, probably 30 different employees, subcontractors, and sprinkled in my private sector experience to current. I work with subcontractors, uh, with uh, a whole variety of folks that um, come into my life, provide a service. Uh, uh, with the current atmosphere of working as comp and the criteria you have to meet to have uh, employees, I try to steer away from that and go with contractors because um, it's a difficult environment. And, uh, that, it works for me better that way. I managed a uh, along with four other supervisors, uh, 1,200 employees, a 200 plus million dollar budget. I was, uh, I rise to presidency of the Regional Council of Rural Counties. Uh, we had million dollar budgets there and 30 plus employees and I'm told to stop. <laughs> Um, most of my life, I've, uh, I have been working for other people, so I have not been involved in that many of the budgets. We have always discussed things that, uh, with the few uh, private ventures I've been involved in. Um, one uh, such venture that I was in with Scott Bigelow and uh, Bard Lee, we had a small sawmill together several years ago in Diamond Springs. We did have um, seven people employed at the time that we're, when we were cutting lumber and the, uh, the, we found out the hard way that uh, we could not uh, compete with uh, Michigan Cal and uh, Wetzel Oviet and so forth even though we were doing specialty uh, timber cutting. The, uh, so the, oh I'm already getting to 30 seconds, <laughs> sorry about that. Now the, uh, say most of my uh, adult life I have been in uh, employment for other people. Uh, we have been around the, uh, the budgets and I do understand what we have to do. So thank you. When I started out, you know, in business when I was 21 years old, okay, I had uh, it's called the Colorado Exxon is what I called it. And then I also had another service station in Plasterville is called Colorado Mobile. I don't know if anybody here remembers the old mobile station in town. Anyway, and I used to pump anywhere from four to 500,000 gallons or more per year per place. And I had approximately about 24 employees working for me in various stages and stuff like that at the two different service stages. So I know what it takes to balance a budget and do cut costs. Because right now I'm running a place myself because I know what it takes today, my particular place right now, because I know what it takes. Workman's comp has gotten way high. They've, they've, uh, a lot of fees on businesses today has forced small businesses to be able to cut. They've had to downsize. It's really kind of sad. I would like to see this county change. I would like to see it be more business friendly so we don't end up, if you want to expand your business today, it's really kind of sad that 
it's gotten way out of proportion where it costs so much money to expand. But isn't that what it's all about, about generating the tax base? So we need to be more business friendly, create more of that business so it can thrive and fl flourish so we can support a better debt tax base. And that's what we need to do. We need to start focusing on the little guy. Thank you. Uh, let's see, two different ways of uh, working on the budget. Uh, direct line-by-line -line item uh, was about a $6 million budget, or had 100% uh, uh, authority. Uh, strong influence, uh, building a budget and presenting it to, uh, to corporates, uh, Stanley Works in particular, it's about $40 million. Uh, direct control employees uh, range anywhere from 15 to 30. Uh, as for how I see how that affects things, you got to know how to pull the pieces together, and you also have to know where the money's hidden. There is a lot of ways that people pull together a budget, uh, put a little here, put a little there, thinking they're going to be able to slide it past and get their budget passed, and that's that's a critical item that you need to have an eye for those things. And I believe I have the experience to to view that, spot it, pull it out, and address it. My first job was with Contra Costa County. Uh, and I was responsible for a $3.5 million budget of putting together a program from scratch, developing it, presenting it to the Board of Supervisors, getting it approved, and then writing the, recommend the, uh, the procedures for all county employees to follow. And I did that by, uh, by reducing costs to the county, getting some extra grants from outside the county, and reducing our costs and, and providing better services to the county uh, employees and the, and the uh, clients. And uh, in a, since then, I've been working in all kinds of government, in uh, all kinds of non-profit sector uh, with 200, over 200 volunteers at any one time, managing them, training them, recruiting them, firing them. And I've done that as well, even up to the current time with Marshall Medical. So and I've been involved with Marshall's budgets and with AERP budgets. Thank you.